Hi, I'm Master Burnett. I'm the Managing Director with Dr. John Sullivan Associates. And um, you know, kind of my, my capstone thoughts for day one of TRUE are um, probably the most interesting discussion happened later in the day when we, we had a discussion about whether or not talent communities could actually be owned by an organization. And uh, you know, I think that the overwhelming thought is that you can own the infrastructure that supports the development of a community, but you'll never actually own the people or the interaction that occurs within that community. That's kind of a self morphing group uh, of individuals. And I think that's very important for people to remember as they look forward to build these communities, people that maybe not be appropriate for the organization today, but some may, someday may affiliate with the organization either as a customer, or a consultant, a vendor, etc. Uh, so that was that was a key learning. The the other thing that that came up, and it's one that comes up pretty much at every industry event, is when you talk about analytics and we talk about measuring um, recruiting and, and the success of the recruiting function. So many organizations get caught up in trying to measure their work and not necessarily measure their impact on the business problem they're there to solve. That's a Miami event. Um, so that was a, a key learning. Um, and then from, from an employee referral discussion this morning, um, I think I've always had my own thinking about employee referral that's influenced by our research that, that we've done for the last seven years. And uh, I realized there's a critical mistake in, in my premise. I assume that the ultimate goal of all referral programs is to produce a highly qualified pipeline of, of talent that produces a much higher yield of hires than any other source. Um, but there are organizations out there that possibly need more applicant flow, not necessarily just um, high quality. And so there's always a business problem that you're trying to address, and that should influence the design of your referral program. So while I've always always kind of gone down the road that employer referral programs have to do this thing, accomplish this one thing, I now have to acknowledge that there are other business problems that an employee referral program may address, and that may fundamentally alter how you manage that program moving forward.